In this session, we'll look at five things to do first before you get started with the free Salesforce Data Cloud offering. Salesforce recently announced a free offer for the Data Cloud platform, which also includes two free Tableau licenses. This incredible offer will surely enable data democratization for many organizations who might not otherwise have easy access to ways to harmonize and unify customer data. While it is tempting to want to get hands on keyboard immediately, especially because this is a free offer, I'm going to give you five important things that you'll want to do first before logging into your Salesforce org and pushing the on button for data cloud. Number one, before you get too excited, check to see if you qualify for the special offer because there are some exclusions. If you already have the CDP or data cloud SKU enabled, if you are a customer in certain countries, if you have the professional edition of Salesforce, or if you are a government cloud customer, then unfortunately you don't qualify. Everyone else is good to go, although ISV partners will need to open a case to get access to the data cloud. Number two, understand what is and is not included in the offer. For Tableau, you'll just need to have a conversation with your account rep to get started. As long as you're eligible for the data cloud, you can get started right away with the data cloud. The really exciting thing about the free version of the data cloud being offered is that you actually get access to the full functionality of the data cloud. The important difference though, is that when Salesforce hands you the keys to your shiny new car, you'll just not be getting a full tank of gas. The Salesforce Data Cloud comes with the same user licenses and, per and permission sets and with the same amount of storage as the Data Cloud Starter SKU that Salesforce charges $108,000 for. Segmentation and activation is not included in either SKU, so if you have marketing use cases, you'll need to add on the Marketing Cloud SKU. The Data Cloud is powered by data service credits. The starter SKU comes with 10 million credits, whereas the data cloud free SKU comes with either 250,000 or 2.5 million credits, depending on whether or not you have the unlimited plus Salesforce edition. The data service credits for the provisioning SKU are also renewed each year that you continue to have your Salesforce core org. Paying for Salesforce credit consumption is a new concept, so it's important that no matter how many credits you start with, you'll definitely want to understand how those credits are consumed. Number three, evaluate how data service credits are consumed. You use data service credits in the data cloud whenever you interact with the data. Those interactions could be in the form of data ingestion, data mapping, resolution, calculated insights, queries, and other things. But there is something really important you need to understand. There are multipliers applied based on the usage type. So for example, it costs two and a half times as many credits if you ingest data via a streaming data pipeline versus a batch data pipeline. Batch profile unification is the most expensive data usage with a cost of 100,000 credits per 1 million rows processed. In some articles, you may read that this free data cloud offer is good for quote, 10,000 profiles. That isn't a limit, but rather just an approximation of how many records you should plan on unifying with the 250,000 credits. Speaking of planning, number four, for plan for how to best use your limited data service credits. Don't use your data service credits for trailhead modules, and I recommend you think carefully before bringing in external data. You'll need to first go through a data modeling exercise, and you definitely don't want to set up external source ingestion with hourly refreshes, or you'll quickly run out of your credits before you get to fully test out your use case. Number five, carefully defining the one use case that you want to start with is the single most important thing you should do. Salesforce recommends two use cases you might want to start with. The first use case focuses on unified leads for targeted selling. The second use case focuses on a consolidated view for service. If you're having difficulty planning your use case or thinking about how you want to use your 250,000 data service credits to test drive the data cloud, you might want to reach out to your Salesforce account rep or your implementation partner, or just spend some time connecting with others in the Salesforce community. Five things to do before getting hands on keyboard with your Salesforce data cloud ends with your planning your use case to get started. After that, once you turn on your data cloud and get going, you'll receive monthly emails letting you know how many data service credits you consumed the prior month. When you need to fill up the tank by purchasing more credits, your Salesforce account rep will be able to help you estimate your usage and provide you with a quote. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you. You can find me on LinkedIn and the O'Reilly Learning Platform as well as on YouTube.